four into three parts. First, we have to construct an energy collector, which will gather the energy from cosmic rays and muons. Second, we have to build anti-gravity screens, which will operate with the energy collector. And when we have completed these two, then I will show you how to harness the full power of the cosmos. We're ahead of it. Steady. It can't keep up. Most unusual. Unusual? It's unique. I must have the additional funds to go on investigating it. It's vital. I propose we give Mayer and his infants a deadline to show us something positive. Some proof that the whole thing is not just some huge wild goose chase. And if they can't, then we cut off their funds. We've done it! We did it! It, it works! <laughs> well done! Yes. Arnold Mayer, Professor. Who? Arnold Mayer. Oh, Mayer. What can I do for you? We've done it. You've what? We've done it. The children have succeeded. Succeeded? You mean the new energy collector works? Yes. I have it in front of me now, and it's glowing with received energy. Cosmic energy. Congratulations, my dear fellow. Heartiest congratulations. When can I see it? Any time you like, Professor. I must call the others, Wade and Draco. They'll want to see it, too. Of course. <laughs> I can't wait to see Draco's face. Why don't we all three call round to your house tomorrow? First thing in the morning, the sooner the better, eh? We don't believe they could have done it. Exactly what I said. But Ferrer said that's what Mayer told him. That man's a mountebank. I mean, there have been scientists working on cosmic research for years. Brilliant scientists. They couldn't make any real progress. Is it likely that a bunch of kids could make a breakthrough all in just a few weeks? I agree, it's ludicrous. I most certainly will not accept a word of it until I've seen the proof with my own eyes. I think not. Anyway. I'm grateful to you for keeping me informed. I know how important it is to you. Bernard? Yes? I know it's highly improbable, but... But what? Just supposing they had stumbled on something, that they really had made some headway, if only by accident. Well, as you say, it's highly improbable. But what if? What would that mean to my chances of ever getting the funds I need? Oh, isn't this exciting? I can hardly wait. Yeah. I wonder what illusion our little magicians have come up with this time. Oh, Bernard, that's not very fair. Huh. No. We're going to be the first people to see all this. Come on, let's get on with it, for goodness sake. Ready? Right. It's in here. What the? It's gone! Oh, my God. I don't understand. What is this? I mean, what are you trying to do? It was here. I put it in that cupboard myself last night for safekeeping. It's true. 
You expect us to believe this? Yes, it's true. It was there. Honest, it was. Oh, dear. How very unfortunate. Indeed. I don't know what childish game you're playing at, but I am tired of having my time wasted. Ferris, Wade, I suggest we meet later. Good morning. <laughs> I agree, it was all most unfortunate. Very sad, really. Yes, well, it was no more than I expected. I knew from the start the whole thing was a charade, a fake. Oh, I hardly think you Those was are there. very strong words, Draycott. I mean, we all saw the chocky in this very room. Oh, surely you still don't believe in all that baloney. Well, it seems to me Look, that I when... say it is time to put a stop to the whole thing before we're made to look even more foolish. Oh, Bernard, how can you say that? Very easily. We are all eminent scientists. Can you imagine what it would be like if the popular press got hold of this story? Science professors spoofed by creature from outer space? <laughs> yes. We'd never be able to hold our heads up again. Hmm. You may have a point there. We should cancel the grant. Switch the money to something more serious, like Beatrice Liddell's research into the nature of binary stars. I'm very sorry. There doesn't seem much we can do about it. But it's important. We can't stop now. There has to be a way of finding the money. There has to be. I agree, Sulin. We will find a way somehow. But until we do, and it may take some time, we shall have to split up. We shan't be able to stay here. Well, at least you'll be able to stay in touch with each other. My parents might not let me come again. Albertine Mayor? Yes? I have some important news for you all. May I come in? Yes, Dick. Thank you. We could show it to somebody else. Maybe we could get them to give us some money. Well, Paul, what do you say? This lady wants to talk to us. Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Gibson. My card. Charlotte Gibson, Ministry of Science. You work for the government? The British government? Yes, that's right. May I sit down? Oh, yes, uh, please. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're Mr. Mayor? Yeah, yes, yes, Arnold Mayor. How do you do? And you must be Sue Lynn and Mike and Paul, right? Right. How did you know? Oh, the government is very interested in you all, and in your work. I'm afraid you've come at a bad time, Mrs. Gibson. We've just heard that our project is to be cancelled. Yes, I know. How did 
did you know? As I said, the government is very interested in you. In our research into gifted children? Of course. And in your research into cosmic energy. Don't worry. I've been sent to look after you. We do know that there have been one or two threats from unscrupulous business interests in the past. Right, Albertine? Yes. So, we don't want that sort of thing happening again, do we? No, we certainly don't. Good. So, if you'll just put yourselves into our hands... Oh, there is one other thing. Yes? My ministry is prepared to give you all the money you need to continue with your work. Right? Yes! <laughs> there we are. Your new hemispheres. Thank you, Professor. I hope I shall get to see them working this time. <laughs> Don't worry, Professor, you will. We're going to start right away. That's good. Remember these? Yes, of course. The plots of your binary star system. Right. Now, take a look at these. I don't follow, Beatrice. Well, this is no different, is it? What do you think? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Exactly. Then what? They're almost identical, you agree? So similar, you couldn't tell them apart. Right. Which is extremely odd, because they come from two entirely different sources in quite separate parts of the universe. Well, it's nonsense. I mean, no two stars are exactly the same. I mean, that's impossible. Well, that's what I thought. So I checked them out again and rechecked them, and the answer was always the same. But how? <laughs> I mean... How could it possibly be? Right, this one is your original, yes? No, that one's my original. Oh. And the other one? How did you find that? That's the really strange thing. The second source is the one young Albertine Mayer was tuned in on when she was messing around with the telescope. Well, I'm blowed. How extraordinary. I was reprogramming the computer, and I just thought I'd take a look at what she'd actually been up to. The coordinates were all in the computer's memory and the time code of when it happened. I called them up, then aligned the telescope on them. That was the result. There's something you don't know. What's that? Well, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Get on with it. But Albertine Mayer claimed she'd found an intelligent life form. That she'd picked up signals from them. These? But apparently. Of course, I didn't believe her, It could but... be true. No, no. It can't be true. That would explain the amazing regularity of the signal patterns. Messages from an intelligent life form. Similar beings on both star systems. Imagine. No, I don't want to imagine. Because if it were true, it means the other might be true as well. What other? Do you mean there's more? There was this... thing, uh, an apparition. It was like being at a... A spiritualist seance. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I couldn't. I mean, God, you'd have thought I'd gone barmy. I mean, it's just so unscientific. Well, you better tell me now, right? You remember the day a young girl came for the grant, Mayor? How's it going? Fine. Ah, cookies. Great. It's really good. We can work so much faster now. We've already done it once before. Good. Hmm, I wish I could understand how it really works. Oh, it's quite simple. All the time, the rays are passing through us and everything. All this does is to catch them and reflect them back onto the centerpiece here. So they're very concentrated, you see? Yes, but there's, there's no generator or anything, is there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy, I thought you knew that. The whole thing's the generator. You don't need mechanical parts. That's the thing about cosmic energy. It's completely pure. Oh, well, keep up the good work. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll manage to understand it one of these days. So, you see, I really couldn't expect you to believe me. I didn't believe in this chalky thing myself. Yes. That sound far-fetched, I agree. <sighs> I'm not sure I believe it now. What about these signals? I prefer to keep an open mind for the moment. Yes, of course. We haven't even begun to investigate the other possibilities yet. Precisely. If there are any. I want you to go on working on this and explore every possibility, but don't say a word to anyone. Not just yet. No, of course not. If these signals are messages of some sort, then this could be the greatest discovery of our time. And we wouldn't want the uh, glory to go to anybody else, would we?
What's going on? Oh, what? What's happening? What are you doing? I, I don't know. I went to bed and... How did I get here? You are convinced, are you, that he was walking in his sleep? I don't follow. I mean, you don't think it was just an excuse he thought up when he was caught trying to steal this? Well, I can't be absolutely certain, of course. You think he might have stolen the first one? Who knows? Anyhow, doesn't matter now, does it? The children have proved that they can do it again. I can assure the Ministry that everything is going well. Certainly you can. They've already started work on the design of the next stage. Oh, excellent. I wish I knew where the other one was. Somebody must have it. Oh, I shouldn't worry too much about that. It's no use to anyone on its own, is it? Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. No batteries, no wires, no motor. No, sir. The device itself is both a form of battery and a motor. Is it indeed? Do we know how powerful it is? Not yet, sir. In fact, there's still a great deal we don't know about it. Except that it runs on cosmic energy. Yes, sir, it does. Which is quite free and absolutely limitless. Exactly, sir. And you're quite sure no one suspects that you took this one? Quite sure, sir. Marvellous. Well, I congratulate you, Major Gibson. You've done a splendid job. Do sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, tell me, has anybody mentioned this um, chalky thing? No, sir. I think those rumours were nonsense. The children are certainly clever, but I don't think they're being assisted by some extraterrestrial force. Mm. Nevertheless, they have achieved some remarkable results. And how are they progressing with the anti-gravity screen? Is that going well? It is, sir. I had a little difficulty finding all the materials they needed, but I managed in the end. Good. Good. This project is being watched with great interest at the top, you know. The very top, you understand. Yes, sir. You can rely on me. I know I can. Thank you, sir. screen finished. Right, Chucky? Right, Albertine. Can we test it now? Certainly. First, you must activate the screen. How do we do that? With the connector, of course. Oh, yes, of course. I'll get it. Everybody. 